So, Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes is 1080p on PS4, but only 720p on the Xbox One. What an embarrassment. But before we get to this video, here's the question of the day. Alright, so basically they revealed uh, the actual official resolution and the frame rate of uh, Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. Uh, this is coming directly from Konami. And uh, on every single system that it's being released for, they've actually showed it and the PS4 leads the way with 1080p 60 frames per second, the highest native resolution on the powerhouse PS4. Xbox One, a very disappointing but not surprising 720p, 720p. And really just goes to show you how far uh, weaker the X-Bone is and it really shows and reveals how, I mean, I can't believe that Microsoft has made an inferior system. But I mean, at this level, you know, it's kind of like, holy shit. You would think that these systems would at least be somewhat equal, you know, very comparable, and you would think that Microsoft would want to create a really powerhouse beast of a system, but the fact that it can't even run as, as, as strong as the PlayStation 4, that's very embarrassing. It's just, uh, it shows you how inferior uh, this particular console is. Not as inferior as the Wii U mind you, but uh, that's a very different story altogether. I mean, it's like, do we even talk about the Wii U anymore? You know, should we even discuss that thing? But, uh, 720p. But also, uh, they're both going to be 60fps, uh, even the Xbox One is 60fps, but, uh, it just, uh, really makes you think about how much weaker is the Xbox One? How less is its ability to handle and process this information and ability to handle games like this. And as far as the 7th gen systems, the older generation, the 360 and the PS3, both of them will be upscaled to 720p and they will only run at 30 frames per second, 30 FPS. And they haven't even mentioned the native resolution. Yeah, I, I don't even know what the name is. It's not a big surprise either. That's like, of course. I mean, it is a big game. It's a, This is supposed to be a, you know, a next-gen game or something like that. It's supposed to be a new game. Uh, it is a multi-plat, but they're trying to include as much as they can, I guess, on this, uh, the, the lower generation, the lesser generation, the uh, older uh, systems. So it's only going to be upscaled to 720p. I wouldn't be surprised if the resolution would be like, 360, you know, even, you know, like 480p, okay? 360 wouldn't surprise me. So, they had to really downsize the hell out of it for the 360 and the PS3. 360 in particular. And, uh, 30 frames per second. I think it's, uh, at this point so far, those are the inferior versions, you know? It's like, that's the shit that you shouldn't... You, re you really don't want to get those ones, you know, it, it, we're starting to see these multi-plats becoming more uh, placated and actually more catered towards the next-gen systems as opposed to the last-gen systems where now we definitely see lower scale, lower quality, lower resolution games, uh, lower ports basically on uh, these 7th gen systems that are now being phased out. I mean, it is, I don't know, just the fact that it is a multi-plat is just so strange because usually most of the time, you know, they, they, they really try with uh, exclusivity, you know, being able to run that game on that particular console, whatever it is, to its uh, full potential and really utilize that specific system's uh, power. Whether it was the PS1 back in the day, or the PS2, or the Xbox, or the PS3. And now we're seeing these local... Oh my, this multi-plat shit. 
again, you know, Metal Gear Solid hasn't been hasn't been that exciting in the past few years, and really, it, in some respects, it has become kind of like a Call of Duty thing, where it's, you know, Kojima's COD, it's his, you know, cash cow, where he just kind of whores it out to uh, various platforms, and now it's become this nothing but a big money-making scheme. Can't blame them, because they gotta make some cash, it's just that I mean, the Xbox One, man, is everything going to be 720p? Is it just going to be a lesser resolution on that thing? It seems like that's the case, you know? I mean, even their exclusives is, well, some of it. Like, I, you know, isn't Rise like 900p? And here's the answer to the question of the day.